Right now, subway safety is the subject of a very important meeting between the city council, the NYPD, and city transit president. The hearing comes just hours after a man was slashed while riding the subway in lower Manhattan. Eyewitness News reporter Johnny Fernandez has the story. Throughout the year, violent crimes have haunted trains and train stations throughout the city. Many New Yorkers admit they don't feel safe on the train. No, after a certain hour, no, not at all. Yes, but I think it's getting worse day by day. And also, uh, I think uh, after evening, it's much worse. The latest violent incident happened this morning. Police say a 64-year-old man was slashed in the nose with a box cutter after an argument with another man on a northbound 4 train downtown. Today, city council members will hold a joint oversight hearing to discuss the issue of subway safety. During the meeting, we're also expected to hear from the transit president and NYPD officials about safety on the train. Back in September, plans were announced to add cameras on every subway train car addressing the issue of homelessness and adding more cops on subway platforms across the city. MTA Chairman Jano Lieber spoke out about the dip in crime underground in a recent episode of Up Close with Eyewitness News anchor Bill Ritter. In the month of November, we had a couple weeks where we had the lowest rate of crimes per million riders yeah. that we'd had since before COVID. This is by no means time to declare victory, but we're in the right direction. Despite the dip, many New Yorkers say they want to see more changes in order for them to start feeling safe. I mean, it's just the homeless people that they got on the street, they need to find more shelters for them, and it won't be so much people on the street. Well, as someone that pays a lot of taxes in this city, I expect to see at least one or two officers in, you know, all areas, not just in areas where um, tourists are, but everywhere in all of the five boroughs.